you guys are watching Sergio Secrets and today's video is going to be a fun one. We're going to be discussing my favorite handbags under $500. These are bags that are buy now, wear now, meaning if you buy this bag today, you can literally wear it that same day. And yes guys, so give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And now let's get started with this list. So I don't have some of these bags and some of these bags I do have and some of these bags I'm planning to have. I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there and like I said, all the links will be down below for all the items that I'm going to be recommending in today's video. The first items we're going to be talking about today are from the brand Coach. Now I feel like Coach has definitely revamped their style. I have a bag right here. This is the Coach Tabby bag. I got mine in this colorway in this green, cream, and black colorway with this beautiful suede on the side. This comes with a shoulder strap and then it also comes in with a crossbody strap. And I feel like Coach has definitely revamped their style. Um, I've always been a Coach fan um, from the beginning but especially this Tabby bag. I've been seeing them a lot on Instagram. Um, like I said, I would just start entering. I'm going to be sitting in this position so you can kind of see pictures as, as I put them throughout the video. And I just really like the Tabby bag. Just whether you get the smaller one, there's more bigger ones. Um, I think Tabby's going to be a big push for uh, the Coach brand. Um, I just feel like I, I love the look of it. I love the minimal look. I like that it just has this C, which is definitely revamping their style. And I feel like this is something that I can wear right now, which I have. And this is something that I can easily transition into the next year. The Coach Tabby is something that is super elevated. And I just, I just love this bag and I can't say anything bad about it. And the second Coach bag is going to be the Coach Cassie. I actually own this bag, but I'm letting somebody borrow my bags. I'm like such a nice person. If somebody asks me to borrow something, I definitely let them. Like, currently on vacation. <laughs> and I had mine in the monogram version, and then um, I decided to get rid of that one, and I just decided to add just a plain black one with the gold hardware. Um, I know people say it's a push at Matisse dupe. Actually, it's not. Uh, Coach actually made this bag back in the day, and actually, I would say Louis Vuitton copied Coach, and I personally prefer the coach bag a million times more better than the Louis Vuitton. I think um, it's more classic for me. Um, look towards the leather version, that's why I did rid of my monogram one and I just added the leather version. I just feel like that one, um, for my taste and uh, for what I'm going for, I feel like that kind of elevates my style and I feel like that's something that uh, recognizes me. Not um, The monogram is just not for me. I want to try it out, but it just was not for me. But I just love that bag. I see it on so many different people. I see people that, you know, that love handbags, that have so many handbags. I see, I'm starting to see people that they want to get into uh, you know handbags and that coach Cassie bag has been really paving the way for coach and I feel like within the last year I want to say it's in charge of their marketing whoever charges of influencers or celebrities or supermodels wearing their bags they have done a fantastic job and I literally applaud you because um, if you would have asked me like two years ago Sergio would you wear a coach bag I would have probably said no but now love coach and I'm starting to find their roots I definitely want to buy some vintage coach bags like a vintage penny bag or a vintage bucket bag. I think that would be so beautiful and so lovely. And I know you can get those in a great price on eBay. Those are going to be the two bags I'm going to be recommending from the House of Coach. Is the Coach Tabby bag and the Cassie bag. I just feel like those are very, very hot bags. As prices, I believe this one right here was $350 and my Coach Leather Cassie was also $350. I'm going to be talking about the second handbag. So this second handbag is from the House of Chloe, C by Chloe, which is a diffusion line. Usually, I'm not the biggest fan of diffusion lines from brands. I do quite like C by Chloe line and Chloe line as well. Actually, to be honest, I quite like handbag a lot better than some of their mainline bags. This handbag comes in at $460. It is called the Small Jones Suede and Leather Crossbody Bag. Um, what I like is that it has kind of like this Coach um, Tabby bag. It has a shorter leather strap and it has the longer strap that you can either use as a, you know, shorter strap with a longer drop or with a crossbody. Um, I think it looks super elevated. I like that it has it has that different mixtures of that suede and that leather and mixing different materials. I kind of like this leather and suede. And I just feel like that kind of reminds me of the Chloe Faye, of the, this Chloe handbag. It looks it looks different than any other contemporary bag. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of usually when designers do diffusion lines. But I do think C by Chloe is correctly made. It's well executed. To be honest, I'm somebody that sees handbags every single day. I, I work in the field and I don't see a lot of people carry C by Chloe. And I feel like it's a brand that people don't really talk about. And I would want people to start talking about more about C by Chloe. I think C by Chloe is such an under 
underrated brand and I feel like it deserves more recognition what it gets. I feel like a lot of people on this platform, YouTube or on Instagram, don't really talk about it. And I feel like C by Chloe needs to be talked about a little. In this bag right here, I just love the uniqueness of it. Like I said, I don't really see a lot of people and if people ask you what it is, you can just say it's a Chloe bag. You don't have to say it's C by Chloe. And you get that Chloe look without spending that Chloe price tag. To be honest, like I said, I prefer this bag than a lot of the mainline Chloe bags. My second pick is going to be this C by Chloe handbag. My third one is going to be uh, this Strathbury handbag. This one is the Strathbury uh, Nano Leather Tote and $445 is the MSRP on it. I did want to incorporate a mini bag just because mini bags are so in right now. Strathbury has become really popular because Meghan Markle has been wearing it all handmade. They're all manufactured in um, Spain so they, you know, pretty good quality and you are getting up more of a little bit more of a premium line for not necessarily like for a high, high price point. And for $445 you get a good substantial made handbag. It comes with a strap on it as well. I'm going to incorporate a small bag and like I said, I have seen Strathberries up close. I've touched them and I've considered purchasing one and I do think they're pretty great quality. They are a little bit delicate on the delicate side just because it is a smooth leather. But um, if you just take care of your items and if you look after them, I feel like you shouldn't have any issues with them. But the Strathberry mini bag I think is super cute. And like I said, if you want to incorporate that mini bag trend, but if you just like the look of the Strathberry, I highly, highly recommend it. This bag I'm going to be talking about is from Troy Birch. Now, I'm somebody that loves Troy Birch. By now, by the time this video is filmed, my Troy Birch Best and Worst handbags will be up. And I said that I feel like this bag is going to be their push for the holiday season. It is the Perry Tote, um, or just the Perry Collection in general, I really like. But today, I'm going to be talking about the Perry Tote. I, like I said, I wanted to incorporate a bag that you can fit your laptop that can be a work bag. And I feel like this one is such a great one. Inside, it's lined with leather, not fabric. On the outside, it's leather as well. What I like on the inside, it has more of that kind of Safiano type texture. If you spill something or something happens, you can literally get a little baby wipe. You can clean it off and you don't have to deal with that fabric because sometimes fabric can be a little bit hard, harder to clean. I like that in the zipper pouch, it is meant for a 13 inch laptop. I just love the color blocking. I love that they come in so many different types of colors. They also make a little baby one that's, I believe, 298. The regular Perito is 348. Um, the Perito did exist many, many years ago. Um, they discontinued it. They made, they brought it into the off price market. They started carrying it in their outlet and I feel like they they saw that very in-demand bag. I feel like that bag gets talked a lot about on Instagram and YouTube, um, the Perito, and I feel like maybe that's why they brought it back full for back to their price retailers and back into their boutiques. And I feel like for me, I love that Perito, and I'm so excited to be adding that into my collection. Right now, I'm kind of going through a little purge, see, and I'm starting to transition more into fall. The Perito is something I'm definitely going to be adding into my collection. I just think it's such an awesome and beautiful handbag to for every day. And I, like I said, I love that it's going to be super super durable as well just because it is that two-sided leather and I just like the very minimal lower for the next year as well even a year after that I feel like the Perito I feel like the Perito going forward for Trey Birch I feel like it's a style that's going to stay so the Perito is another handbag that I'm going to recommend. We're down to the last two handbags we're going to be talking about. This one I'm going to be talking about is the Marc Jacobs Snapchat bag. Now I have seen people talk about this bag. This bag has been out for a while, but I'm talking about the uh, this one color tone. So they have like an all black one, an all red one, an all green one, an all white one, and I feel like those look super elevated. They look super chic. I know they're um, $325. That is the MSRP on them, but I feel like for that price, for the look of the handbag, I just think they look they look more expensive than what they are. They look like a bag that's eight hundred dollars plus. Snapchat collection in general, I do quite like from Marc Jacobs. I do like more of that Sofiano leather type Snapchat, especially the smaller ones. It literally looks like a little cute blogger bag that you know you're not spending you know a thousand dollars on a Gucci bag or two thousand dollars on a YSL bag. You know it's still it's still an expensive handbag, but I feel like you get kind of that bloggerish look without spending a lot of money. And I see so many different type of people wear the Snapchat bag. I see people that are sixteen year olds wear Snap. Marc Jacob bags and I see people that are you know 50 and 60 wear Marc Jacob Snapchat crossbody bags so I feel like all of the bags that I'm talking about today are universal you can be 16 and if you want this bag it's something that you can wear and if you're um and if you're 70 or 80 watching this video that's um, this is something also that you can wear last one is going to be a backpack that has been out for quite a while but I feel like um I've had this bag since last year but I feel like it's now starting to take off and I have been seeing this uh, become more and more popular on Instagram and on YouTube and what I'm going to be talking about today is the Dagny Dover Dakota backpack. This one is in the regular size. My laptop um, on the inside it has a, um, sorry I have a pair of shoes in here but 
I have, I can put my laptop in here. You have these zipper compartments where you can put your chargers, you can put your SIM card, you can put your camera, you can put like your sunglasses right here. You can put, you know, your credit card and stuff in this little small zipper, your AirPods. And I'm, like I said, I'm starting to see this backpack more on social media more and more often and on people like me out and about. I'm starting to see this backpack on a lot of people and it's a reason because this backpack is highly well made. I love the compartments. I love that it's neoprene, that um, it does have somewhat of a structure, but it if, if it also kind of drops, that neoprene kind of protects the items that's inside. But yes, I just wanted to talk about the Dagny Dover backpack because I just think it is such a great, great backpack. And I highly recommend Dagny Dover as a brand. I love their leather and neoprene pieces. I right here last year, I have not been searching for a backpack. This fulfills every single need. I can wear this to the gym. I can wear this to going into work. I can wear this when I'm going to a coffee shop to edit this YouTube video. I can wear this to the airport. I feel like this is like an all appropriate and it's all black and it looks enough and it looks elevated enough that you can you know you can wear a suit and you can wear this and I feel like it's some it's acceptable. You know, people more and more people are finding out about Dagny Dover and I think they're such a great company. I want to make a video just on this backpack itself because I had this for a year and it literally has been on airport. It's been to the gym multiple multiple times and it still looks like it's brand new. Those are going to be my handbag recommendations under $500 um, that can easily transition to the fall, winter and into next year. So if you like, hopefully this guy gives you a more of a guide on the type of handbags that are going to be trending. These are the handbags that are going to be hot and like I said, that will be hot until the next year as well. Yes, if you want to see any other videos, definitely let me know down below. I can do one for under $1,000, under $2,000. I can do one for under $200. Um, just let me know any some sort of type of video you want to see on this channel and I'll definitely film it for you guys for everything that I was talking about today will be linked down below and everything that I talked about today is Sergio Secret approved and yes guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video I really really appreciate it whatever time you're watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you back on the next one bye guys